Do you ever feel like what you're being taught in school isn't useful to you? Yeah. <laughs> that school is boring? What if I could show you a way to learn where you are in control of your learning, where you're doing things you're truly interested in, where you can build towards the future of what you want for yourself, where you discover what you're good at and where you discover your passions, a way of learning where you're so enthralled by what you're doing and you don't even realize you're learning? Does that sound too perfect to you? Well, in fact, this kind of learning has already existed for 20 years. Some schools already offer it. But if your school doesn't, I'm here to show you how any student can easily set this up. Most of you here today are here because you're engaged in learning already. You're already taking action to pursue your interests or to find out what they are. Being here already makes you part of the leaders of tomorrow. But what about the rest of your classmates? Take a moment to look around at the people sitting next to you. Out of every five students in Quebec, or one out of every five students in Quebec, will never get a high school diploma. The high school dropout rate is astonishing to me. 22% of boys in Quebec drop out of high school before graduating. It works out to about 18,000 high school dropouts per year in Quebec alone. But why? Many students seem to be disenchanted with what they're being taught in school because they can't really see how that applies to real world things that they can use. Most of your time at school is spent learning through an old model, We're going through lectures, studying, and reading, rather than by experiencing things firsthand, by thinking and doing. Most high school students are told what, when, and how to learn. But those that take part in hands-on learning can control their own learning. Would you rather be told what to do? Or would you rather decide for yourself? I believe that every student at every school should have the opportunity to discover their talents, to learn skills that are useful to them, and discover their passion by getting engaged in school. This is where we have to get to. But how? I'd like to give a really big welcome to Bill the Robot. Bill is one of the finalists from last year's CRC Robotics competition, one of many competitions that your high school can participate in. Bill was built entirely by students between grades 7 to 11 and is being expertly driven by Trevor here today, one of its builders. So what this robot had to do is it had to play this game, as you can see on this photo here. And it had to pick up cubes, as it's doing now. And it had to go across this big ramp in the middle of the playing field to the other side, and then place its cubes in the scoring zone to score points, amongst a whole bunch of other things that they had to do to make the game interesting. There was a bunch of strategy involved. So as you can see, they kind of decided to pick up a whole bunch of cubes at once, put it in a container, and then when they got to their scoring zone, they could just dump them all out. And they could actually pick up probably like 20 of them or something like that. They could really pick up a bunch. So it was a really nice design. Now, some of the students that built this robot had never done robotics before. So you can imagine this amazing remote controlled machine is the type of thing that you can build without any previous experience or knowledge, just by getting involved. Thank you very much, Trevor. Later, Bill. Never get a reply. I think Bill's a strong, silent type. Now, by getting involved in robotics, students can pick up awesome real-world skills. They can pick up things like wood and metalwork, digital electronics, programming, problem solving. And it's just a ton of fun. Most students have never had the opportunity to work in a large team outside of sports. By participating in robotics competitions in teams, students gain invaluable communication, teamwork, leadership, and project management skills that they can't get in the classroom. This is a chance to take control of your own learning and your own design process. Parents tell you what to do, teachers tell you what to learn, but getting involved in robotics allows you to take the driver's seat, to take charge. And if you think robotics is just for boys, you're strongly mistaken. Because these days, robotics competitions often have just as many girls participating as boys. 
There are many robotics competitions for high schools. Some competitions are small and allow you to work in small teams. And other competitions are huge projects where you may be working with 20 to 60 other students on your team with 600 or more students participating in 20 to 30 other schools at the competition. Participating in robotics competitions in teams can be an unparalleled social experience as well, allowing you to meet lots of new people and create new friendships. It's not uncommon at robotics competitions to see cheerleaders, mascots, hundreds of people screaming and cheering for their team. It often gets so loud and intense that people lose their voices, but not even that would stop them from supporting their team. I guess she came prepared to lose her voice. Either that or she can make signs really fast. <laughs> this is the McDonald High School robotics team at the CRC competition last February. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about them. Before I do, I just want to ask, uh, what about the students that have other interests outside of robotics? Well, some robotics competitions incorporate other components, such as filmmaking, kiosk presentations, and web design competitions within the whole thing. So a high school robotics team can involve students with all kinds of interests. Let me ask you guys here today, how many of you have ever built a robot before? Wow, that's, that's actually really impressive. That's a lot of you. So this is actually going to be great because I'm going to show you how you can take your robotics experience to levels you may never have imagined. So these are the students that actually built the robot that you saw on stage before. And you'll notice straight away in this photo that you've been watching, you'll be asking yourself, why are they wearing Ghostbusters? Well, they decided that that was going to be their theme for the competition last year. So you can see they do a lot more than just build robots, like the one that you see over there, which is the same robot as before. Um, they decided that they were going to build props and costumes, and they made them from scratch, all themselves. So they built the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters for their team video, as you do. Um, they took an old Jeep that their teacher lent them. They learned how to professionally strip and spray paint a car. And they cut and welded other parts to make it as close to the version in the movies from the Ghostbuster films as possible. Then they decided, we have to make proton packs from the movies. But instead of going to a costume shop, as most people do, they wouldn't be caught dead taking a cheap shortcut they found the real blueprints from the 1980s movies so that they can build and replicate each component of the proton packs and make them in large numbers so they can wear them at the competition and use them in their video. These students are constantly figuring out ways to kick it up another notch, always asking how they can outdo themselves from year to year. Because the McDonald High School Robotics team uh, runs from grade 7 to 11. By the time the grade 7s get to grade 10, they become the experts. And students such as Trevor, who drove the robot before, he gets to, with his other colleagues, or other teammates that have had some experience, they get to then be responsible to teach the other students on the team that have just joined. So the teachers are only there to make sure the kids are safe, but the kids are in charge. This is their project. Sounds pretty awesome, right? But it gets even better. They do all these amazing things, conquer these huge challenges, and achieve great success. But this isn't a class. There's no curriculum. They don't get graded for robotics. They don't get extra credits. They do robotics, and they keep coming back to do robotics year after year, some of them for up to seven years if they continue in CJEP. And the only reason is because they love it. They can't get enough of it. They come in after school several times a week. They come in on Friday nights. Heck, I found out that 50 of them were working on robotics until 10.30 p.m. last night, just last night. They do pizza parties, they do sleepovers in the school gym, they come in on weekends and during summers, hold on, summers? Yes, kids come into school during their summer holiday just so they can get ahead in robotics. Just imagine how much fun, how meaningful something has to be to get a whole group of kids to beg their teachers and their schools to come and do robotics in the summer. This movement has captivated their entire school and their whole community. They can't keep up with demand. Teachers don't have enough time to give. If the kids had their way, they'd be doing robotics every day all year. And these ones almost do. 
The McDonald High School robotics team is an example of taking robotics to the max. But the beauty is that the passion I see in their students is not the exception of robotics competitions, it's the norm. In my 15 years of being involved in robotics competitions, I have witnessed firsthand this level of enthusiasm, this passion repeated in thousands of students at hundreds of high schools. I've seen students disinterested in school become enthralled. I've seen how robotics has allowed students to discover their passions. I know this because I've seen robotics competitions from every angle. Before I became the head organizer of the CRC robotics competition, and before the nine years that I helped out with the competition as a volunteer to help run it, for all that, I spent four years participating in robotics competitions as a student in my high school and CJEP robotics teams. So, here's how any student at any school can get started on this amazing journey and start doing robotics today. It's as easy as buying a robotics starter kit or asking your school or teacher to buy some kits such as Lego, NXT, or VEX. Start playing around with the components. Don't worry about reading up, just dig right in. Do it by trial and error. Then, try to convince your teachers and your school to start a robotics team or club and join a robotics competition, such as Junior Robotics, Robot Sumo, CRC Robotics, RoboCup, or FIRST, amongst many other competitions that exist. It's really as simple as that. So put down your books. Get out of lecture mode. Get involved with robotics on your own. Form or join a robotics team at your school. Find a hands-on activity that you truly enjoy. Dig in, get your hands dirty. Challenge yourself to think, to create your own solutions, to take control of your own learning. Take that next step to discovering and pursuing your passion by picking up robotics and hands-on learning today and let your imagination guide you. Thank you.